Good morning, YouTube, and this is the Prince of Mill Ave. I'm going to be trying something a little bit different today. As you probably have noticed, uh, you don't see me. Instead, you see something strange. That would be World of Warcraft, a video game or a massively multiplayer online game that I wanted to present some things. One of the stuff that's going on right now is it's Halloween. It's Samhain for uh, those of us pagans. And... I am an anthropologist, which means that I study cultures, and that includes online cultures, which thoroughly fascinate me. Since I don't really have access to Mill Avenue right now, but I do have access to World of Warcraft, I figured I would go through what sort of cultural affects actually are reproduced in online games like World of Warcraft through events such as the Hallows End event, which is going on right now. Who you see before you right now is one of my characters on Thunderhorn, the server, or shard, depending on how old you are when you're speaking about these. And this is Bloom. Say hi. I guess I can't. I have the UI overlay turned off right now so that you can see everything and the character. And a little demon. This is a little town named Brill, which is where the undead are. I'm sure that you've noticed that people look a little bit gaunt. They've got, uh, you know, bones sticking out, and uh, in Bloom's case, she kind of got has this uh, Marge Simpson, Bride of Frankenstein, beehive thing going on. Well, uh, in World of Warcraft, these sort of events couldn't really be uh, defined specifically as uh, cultural or cultures because. World of Warcraft has more of a institutionalized metaculture. They're drawing from a numerous number of uh, angles and they're inserting them into narratives in the game. It's more like a book or something like that that other players then interact with. We have jack-o'-lanterns laying around town. We have someone on a giant purple bird, which is probably a blood elf. Uh, and we have a huge statue of the Banshee Queen Sylvanas wearing a witch's hat. I always thought that Brill's Main Street reminded me a little bit of Mill Avenue. I, mean, well, I guess we've got some like mojos here where you can pick up. Uh, this guy keeps on getting stuck. It's lag. Lag does that. Uh, where you can pick up some yogurt. You have uh, the old Harley store. Actually, I'd say that's graffiti shop. That's an apothecary. And uh, Urban Outfitters. Uh, Looks like they're currently assembling a customer right now. Of course, Mill Avenue doesn't have bats or dead people hanging around. Although, right now they might. You never know. And even in outside of Brill, the uh, I think the distinguishing concept is that there's a giant graveyard in back. I mean, where else are you going to get all these dead people wandering around? One of the events that World of Warcraft pulls in order to draw in uh, players and have fun... Uh, someone is picking up a bat, I'll bet. No? No bat? Just gonna stare. Bats in World of Warcraft are how people get around. At least in the area where the undead have sway. They are a taxi service, essentially. Uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Wandering back down Main Street Brill, which I am going to imagine for a moment is actually Mill Avenue. And there are bats. There are bats on Mill Avenue, although not in those quantities. Uh, part of the Halloween celebration that World of Warcraft does is also the Headless Horseman, who shows up in towns and lights buildings on fire. Fortunately, he only does it to Brill. And not... Mill Avenue, seeing as how having Mill Avenue light on fire would be no fun, being that in the past we've had things like the Andre building light on fire and had to be renovated. Uh, speaking of fires, there's another event that uh, World of Warcraft has, especially for the undead people in the Undercity, which is a castle that you can't see. That's the Blip Tower. But we're about to uh, head over there and I'll show you what it is. It's a uh, wicker man. Um, I'll see you in a moment. Alright, here we are at the entrance to the spooky old undercity, and I'd like to introduce you to the wicker man, so uh, let's move out. 
The Undercity is the ruins of an old human city. Oh, it's already on fire! The Wicker Man is a old Celtic tradition that uh, Roman historians uh, like Caesar uh, and others, uh, I think Tertullian as, uh, as well, have mentioned about the old uh, ancient Celts, although they suggest that they use them as part of, uh, well, human sacrifice rituals. Except for part of the problem is, is that many of these are uh, hearsay reports, and there's no, there isn't a broad amount of knowledge of Wicker Man, the Wicker Man, which were giant, you know, effigies of humans lit on fire during bonfire ceremonies were ever used as part of human sacrifice, especially by the Celts. And the Romans were well known for very, very sort of strange ethnographic propaganda about their would-be enemies and the other peoples that they were conquering. And one of the problems there is that uh, oh, the Romans were a people of a little, very little sarcasm, which I think was probably a defense they developed against the Greeks. Well, the fun things about this is that you can probably hear the fire. Yeah, a little bit in the background there. So we have a whole bunch of undead critters, uh, torches, and etc. And if it ever goes out, you can come over to the bonfire, click on it like this, and lob. It got, flies up there and lights it again. One of the uh, quests that the enemy faction, the Alliance, I play a horde character, is to come over here and douse the Wicker Man and put it out. And so, one of the things you can do is come and light it up again. But, uh, so, uh, that's the current Halloween celebration in World of Warcraft. And I hope that all of you are going to have an excellent evening out there. I hear that World of Warcraft is also going to have a Day of the Dead festival. So, I might be back to, uh, give you an example of that, you know. Uh, skeletons running around, dancing in the graveyard, that sort of thing. And until then, this is uh, the Prince of Melev uh, in World of Warcraft with someone flying there. And uh, good night and uh, good dreams.